So most recently, this restaurant that originated in Uzbekistan, they franchise here. It's called Gosht. It's in Coney Island. And it's a steakhouse, but it also has a lot of Uzbekistani dishes. Um, and as soon as I walked in, I, I have never seen a steakhouse with a playground. And I was like, what, what's happening here, right? Like steakhouses are supposed to be a bit fancier. And I asked the owner, I'm like, why, why do you have like a playground? He's like, I think that, you know, Muslims, we really do uh, emphasize family. And I, and I was like, I totally agree. And he's like, I think we should make a family friendly restaurant. So we have a steakhouse where parents can enjoy their steak and the kids can just go play and they don't need to worry about finding a babysitter and whatnot. They can all enjoy a family night out. And I was like, that's a really interesting, interesting concept. And they have like a kid's meal and all this stuff. And then they also use a Hosper grill. So Hosper grill, like for those of you don't know, it's, it's a it's literally a Lamborghini of grills. Like that's how you grill like the best quality of meat. And the fact that they have that and a playground like this is like they're just catering to everyone at this point. And the service was insane, you know, like I like again, growing up, I, I you know got food from a truck and that was about it they just give it to you and you walk off and here they're like you know handing me like wipes after every use i'm like oh my god like i'm being treated like this like queen like it was insane their service is amazing but i just think that the concept overall is so interesting i mean where else are you going to find that uzbek steakhouse with a playground and so much seating inside and they also serve like no alcohol or anything despite being a steakhouse so they really just hit everything on the head, you know? So I definitely really uh, think that spot is worth checking out. And then, hmm. So speaking of family-friendly restaurants, another restaurant that uh, really did that was 8-Bit Bites. It's also relatively new. They are opening a couple new locations. And this restaurant is really cool. I think the 80s and 90s kids are really gonna dig this one. They only play 80s songs and 90s songs. And the entire restaurant has like a rainbow light up floor. And they have video games that you can play for free while you eat your food. It's, it's fast food. And their whole concept is eat like a kid again. And it's, it's so cute because, you know, I've never seen restaurants like this that are halal. You see a lot of gimmicky restaurants throughout New York City, but they're never halal. So for them to offer that to us, I think it's, it's amazing. So definitely check that one out as well. Another restaurant that I found was really interesting is called the Theo Thai Bistro. They recently opened up in Barclays Center, but they their original location is in Long Island. Um, they are, so I got to meet the owners and the owners are, uh, the husband is Vietnamese and the wife is Thai. And they teamed up together to create a halal Vietnamese restaurant, which is super rare. This is the only restaurant that serves halal pho in New York, um, in Long Island and New York City. It's, it's amazing. It's like this huge bowl of homemade pho that they serve. And I asked them and I was like, you know, this is like amazing like that you guys do this. Is, do you know, happen to know if anywhere else we can find halal pho? And they're like, no, this is why we opened this up. And I thought that was amazing. And they're they're a family-owned business, definitely worth supporting, but it's just such a unique concept. You li literally, I'm telling you, you cannot find halal pho anywhere else. So that's- But it's in the Barclays Center? Like in It's the near arena? it, it's near it. It's literally right across the street, actually. So uh, definitely worth checking that out too. And the food is phenomenal. And they really cook with like heart and soul. I mean, it's a family-owned business. I love supporting that. Um, and they're, yeah, mashallah, they're amazing. Uh, and then piggybacking off of that, uh, there's another family-owned business called Ayat, which has taken New York by storm. They've opened up so many uh, locations, and I, first of all, I love how resilient they are about the Palestinian cause. They're like, yeah, we're gonna free Palestine. They have everything. They have information on their menus. I love that, you know? Um, I remember there was a time when a lot of halal restaurants would even not want to put the halal sign out in the front. And we, here we have this Palestinian restaurant with these murals about their cause which is amazing. I mean, I think, you know, food, it, it, it's just much more than just tasting, right? Yeah. In fact, last night I was telling my mom about how food, it, it's passed through generations. It has a history to it. And I think Ayat beautifully captures that. They actually, all their recipes are passed down through generations. Um, and I think that restaurant is so excellent. And because of how popular it's gotten, I feel like it's raised a lot of awareness about just halal restaurants in general uh, through the publicity that they've garnered. Um, and yeah, and, and another one that is also very popular, and I'm sure everyone's gonna go tonight, is called Kawa House. Uh, I think people go to Kawa House more than Tarawi. Come on, guys, get it together. 
Um, but Gala House, you know, they they originate from Michigan. I actually just visited Michigan and I saw the original location there. They actually have quite a few locations in Michigan and they've opened up here in New York and, you know, taken Muslims by storm. And I really, I think the concept of opening up a cafe was, was amazing, right? Because, so again, I, I used to work in corporate America and I remember my coworkers always being like, let's go to happy hour. And I'm like, what do you expect me to do there? I'm not going, you know, like this is not for me. And it was an inclusive. And, and now when I go out with my Muslim friends, like our happy hour is you go, go to a cafe and drinking traditional tea. And I think Gala House really captures that and has allowed, you know, the younger Muslims to kind of n not feel the need to go to bars or anything. You know, you can just go to a cafe that's open late. A lot of cafes in New York close at like 4 p.m. And here we have Gala House open till like 2 a.m. So Muslims can have a space to gather and lounge and talk. And I love that. And I respect that concept so much. And I really hope they open more locations because Williamsburg is getting more and more packed by each day. <laughs> and I think they definitely should open some more locations. H have you ever been to Gawa House? I have. I have. It's incredible. It it's good, isn't it? It's incredible. Yeah, I love that place. And it's so affordable and it's just so family friendly as well. I, I love that place. Um, definitely a must try if you're ever in New York City. Um, and a rather old restaurant that is honestly forgotten these days and I'm mad that it's forgotten is called Muru Chicken and Noodle Bar. So this is a halal Korean restaurant in Bayside. It's so like out of, it's like not even in like a main area in Bayside. It's kind of tucked away in the corner, but it's a halal Korean restaurant. Like you would never expect that. Um, they're, they have, they use really good quality halal meat from Alexa and everything on the menu is halal. They, you know, which is a big thing because Korean cuisine really has a lot of pork in it. There's actually another halal Korean restaurant that does have pork on the menu. And I know a lot of people are not comfortable with that, but if you're looking for a halal Korean restaurant that doesn't serve any pork, Muru is, is your go-to. They have excellent Korean dishes. They even have ramen and it's also family run. And I remember asking the owners like why, uh, they did that and they were just like hey, we're catering to more than one customer base and they actually told me that they have more Pakistanis than Korean go he's like every day they actually ask their customers every time I go they ask me where I'm from and I'm like yeah I'm from Pakistan they're like why do we always get Pakistani customers this is so weird and it's adorable seeing that and then they they, they get so happy they're like we love that we can you know show our cuisine to other other cultures so I really I really like that oh and then another East Asian cuisine that this is not in New York City. So if you are ready to go on a trip, that's worth it. If you want halal hibachi, Zaza Japan is your place. Halal Japanese cuisine, this is insane. So they also used to have pork, but a, another halal blogger, the halal guide actually got them to remove their pork from the menu. It was just one item. And now it's halal hibachi and halal sushi. And they are actually using halal, so it's like very good quality hand slaughtered meat and yeah, the, I was like, halal hibachi, like this is, this is good. Um, and it's so, the restaurant's amazing, food is incredible. Honestly, if they weren't such a trek out, I'd probably go there every day. Um, we we're still hoping that they open closer to the city, but definitely a, another amazing restaurant. So that, that, all these restaurants, they are unique, a must try if you're ever in New York. And those are my personal recommendations. <laughs>